What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Monday. Uh, about four hours from now, we got our live stream, of course, at uh, 9 o'clock Eastern. I hope you guys join us in. We are one month away from the team going to training camp, we have the fallout here of all that supposedly is going on with Mike McCarthy is fed up and everybody is running with it like crazy. I'm not sure that anything is any different than what it's been over the course of the last four years or not, but hey, it's something to talk about. You know, what's interesting is I, I am so blessed. Um, if somebody had told me years ago that you'd be able to start talking to NFL fathers and stuff like that, like Micah Parsons' dad or or Dak Prescott's uncle, and of course last night I got to talk with uh, Tom Beebe's dad, got some insight and things on uh, his son, actually on all of his kids and stuff and his background and things. And it's a pleasure to be able to meet people and do stuff like that. And I'm going to say, um, even when trolls think that they are doing damage to you, you know, they're going through with, um, of course, Dan Salio saying that Mark Holmes said this and Mark Holmes said that. And he, of course, goes off on me. And unlike most people that usually just tuck and turn when they get disrespected, I went into the breach right there. And I'm so glad that I did because, you know, Dan is, he, he's definitely, you know, got a temper on him. You know, he's very opinionated in things, but he's actually cool people. He's actually cool people. And I dare say that when you have opportunities, sometimes you find out people that you wouldn't normally associate with that maybe you might find out that they're not so bad after all once you get to know them. That's not to say all of them, because some of them, you know, some assholes are just assholes and there's nothing you can do about it. But here is what I'm learning why so many Eagle fans get upset and they say, you know, Dan Salio, he's garbage. Dan Salio, you know, he's not really an Eagle fan and stuff like that. And I realize why that is, is because he's not telling you what you want to hear. He's not sugarcoating. He's giving you his real opinion on things. And sometimes people don't want to hear the facts or people don't want to own up to their own shit or their problems. And that's the problem people have with Dan. Because this was like, I, I was surprised by this uh, listening today because I'm actually enjoying, enjoying listening to a bit of Dan Salio. Let's listen in for a minute. I wish I knew the answer. Okay. Well, 304, I'm going to ask you this one. If I'm Dak Prescott, I play my option out. When's the season start? I'm betting on myself. Mm -hmm. If Kirk Cousins can get $48 million, I'll get 58. Let's just play this for a second. If you were to put Jalen Hurts or Dak Prescott on the open market, who'd get more money? And who'd have more suitors? Dak or Jalen? What quarterback fits today's passing game? This is crazy. Dak or Jalen? Ooh. What offenses? What offenses? Are set up for Jalen. Interesting take. Two. He wouldn't have a big market. Dak would have a massive market. You know why? Dak's a passer. Jalen is more set up for RPO. Do you guys say it? Wow. Dak Prescott would be a bigger free agent and have more suitors for his style of play because teams have set up for that style of play than they are for Hertz's. What? How many teams have all the components that Hertz has in the league? Two? Eagles and Niners? I, 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 like is, maybe is he, he saying he's a where? bus driver? The Browns? Could be, that could look good. By the way, I'm going to be objective here. The Browns? 
That could look good. Where else? The Rams? That's not his style, Sean McVay. He likes drop back and deep throws. Wow. I don't think he fits in L.A. Steelers? That could be. Run the ball. Najee? Good old line. Better improving old line. All right. D.C.? With the um, the Dotson kid and the um, Terry McLaurin, that could look decent. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Giants, absolutely not. Okay, Giants have no run game. Giants have no wide receivers. They have nothing. That'd be a train wreck. The Colts, that could look, yeah. But all these places, Dak would have, they'd have first option with Dak. You know why? He's a prolific passer. What? His entire time since he's been the starting quarterback in this league, he's been a prolific passer. Jalen's never been a prolific passer. Ever. Wow. And nor will he ever be. Wow. So who do you think, again, will have a bigger market? Kirk Cousins just got 48 million bucks. 48 million. Could he fit in Miami? Can you imagine Dak? I'd rather have Dak. What? He throws the ball better. Uh, That's a better passer. What? Are you kidding me? He's a better passer. Seriously? To be fair, Jalen's two worst years were Nick's offense. That, hey, hey, Mad Bird. Well, again, it goes back to you're right. Hurts is a little bit young in the league still. I'm going to go with a veteran guy. I, I can't believe Just this. Just release Tay Hayes for weed use. A lot going on with the Jets. Yeah, did you, I, I guarantee you. What's his name? Hong Kong Fui. Reddick is probably over at the Great Wall of China now. <laughs> you know? What? <laughs> he, he's fighting back the Russians now or something with his uh, samurai sword. <laughs> He's probably fighting back over. Yeah, he's probably fighting them. He's fighting the Russians back now. Jay Gosills' opinion is dog. Name me one place ever where he was better passing the ball than Dak. He's never had a season anywhere remotely close to Dak's. Mm -hmm. ever. He never will. Oh, man. Wow. Um, Dak's been in the league way wow. longer than Jalen. Why not compare Dak to Mahomes? Uh, I did. As a matter of fact, over the last fifty games, they're very comparable. The, the, this is this is crazy. And it's I almost I, I can see He's why they hate it. Exactly, him. Patrick Mahomes football. Of course, in the regular season, he matches up verbatim for him. I did that exercise, and he matches up straight across the board with Mahomes. Stop it already! Dak had the number one offense and didn't win. So did you. Oh. Top three defense. So did you. Wow. So did you. So did you. Jalen has played in a Super Bowl. So is Jimmy Garoppolo. Oh, damn. That can't make it out of the playoffs, which is a thing. Hurts can become a great passer, but not with Nick's coaching again i don't know who's coaching him kellen nick new offense no offense okay hey and once again i did mm. that i did that comparison you know it's funny the the guy doesn't some of you guys just don't want to hear it when i bring it up and when you when you do go wow mahomes versus dak He's going deep. I did this when we had. Um, I did this one when we had on um, Mark Holmes. Me? Here, let's just go here. Me? This is just the last twenty-eight games. Passing yards: Patrick Mahomes, eight thousand thirty-five. Um, Dak, seventy-two forty-two. Touchdowns: Mahomes fifty-three, Dak fifty-nine. Interceptions, Mahomes 24. Mm. 
Dak 23. Completion percentage, Mahomes 67. Dak 69. Quarterback rating, 97-1 Mahomes. 101-6 for Dak. Record, 20 and 8. Both are 20 and 8. You're making it, you're, you, you know, your hatred. And here's the last, here's the one on the 50 stats. The last 50 games. Mahomes is 36 and wow. 14. Dak's 33 and 17. 105 passes for touchdown passes for Mahomes, 105 for Dak. INTs, 39 for Mahomes, 39 for Dak. Jeez. Passer rating, 98.9 for Mahomes, 101.3 for Dak. Yard, 7.5 for Patrick Mahomes per play, 7.5 for Dak. Completion percentage, 68.9 versus 68.4. Wow. He's playing Mahomes football. What are you talking about? Unbelievable. Stop bragging about Hurts playing in the Super Bowl. He didn't win it. <laughs> Getting there is a big deal. Dude. Wow. Dak Prescott compares favorably to Mahomes. Not my words. When it comes to ability. Or Dan's words. I mean, get this. You know the cool thing about – stop bragging about Hurts playing in the Super Bowl. He didn't win it. I get it, Flex, and, I, and it's true, but I still give him love for getting there. I... Wow. Can you believe that? That is in Eagles market. No wonder the Eagles keep calling his ass in his station and say, get this guy out of here. He is pulling the sheets off the body. Unbelievable. Now that explains it all. I just don't understand why when I go on the show, he tells me how much we suck. Hope y'all having a great day. See you 9 o'clock tonight. Peace out.